Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another thrift and style with me. Hope you guys are doing great and wherever you live, you are cooler than we are here in Connecticut because it is again like 100 degrees, 100% humidity. It's awful. Like I said in my last video, definitely have always been a summer girl. Next year we're going to put in a pool, so maybe that will help, <laughs> but I am not going out there. I went out there, I thrifted, I did what I had to do, and I came right back. And this is where I am staying in the central air. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for your sweet comments from the last video. Um, today I went to two different stores. So I went to um, our local Goodwill and I went back to Savers. Only grabbed a couple of things from Savers, but I did get a few good things from Goodwill. And I did, or we are going to, wallpaper that side of the cabinet. There were mixed reviews on it, but I kind of look at it like, you know, I'm gonna try it. If I don't like it, I can take it down. So it's not a big deal. And I did find a little pot rack kind of thing to put on it. So we're gonna do that together along with my husband because we need his help with power tools. You don't want me touching a power tool, trust me, <laughs> you do not. But anyway, before we get into the haul, I was able uh, to film in Goodwill. So that was good. Um, savers, they usually stop me. I don't know why my savers doesn't like it when I do that, but they don't. But anyway, so I went to Goodwill first. So I'm going to show you the footage I got in Goodwill so you can just kind of see some of the pieces that were on offer today.
So there were lots of goodies. The store wasn't crowded today. I think a lot of people stayed in um, from the heat. But anyway, let's get into the haul. But I do invite you to subscribe to my channel for more thrifting, homemaking, intentional living. Um, my house is very much cottage style and I um, am deciding to put back some farmhouse touches back in. So I'm gonna be mixing the two styles together, especially over the fall season. So I'm excited to share all that with you. And thank you for the person, I forgot who it was, there's a couple of you about my glasses. They're like, you should just keep your glasses on during your videos. And I'm like, I know, but you know what? The ring light in the glasses, I mean, I can see better, but then I don't know, it's distracting. To me, it's very distracting. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the best I can without them for now anyway. Okay, so the first thing I picked up and I was so happy to find it. So on the wall, the edge of the cabinet, we are going to put on the faux brick wall paper that we put on next to the pantry. And for those of you who haven't seen that, I will link it down below. So if you wanna, you know, get caught up in that area. Um, so we are gonna do that. And at first I had ordered like a pot rack, like your basic pot rack, and I didn't like it. So I'm like, you know what, let me go to the thrift store. Let me see what I can find. And lo and behold, for $5, and I think it's it was from Home Goods, and it was originally uh, $20.99 or $12.99, I'm sorry, or $25. $12.99, sorry, but I found this and I love this so much. It's like a coat rack or coat hooks. And originally like I wanted the pot rack, but then the more I thought about it, I don't want the things to be moving around. I want to put something on something that's sturdy and we have cats. And if things start moving, they're gonna start playing. So it's probably not a good idea for us in our house anyway. So I did pick this up and it's wood and silver. And then it has like a little design in there. I don't know if it'll pick it up or not. But it does have a little design in there and it's metal. So I thought this against the faux brick would look really pretty. And it was only $5 and it was green today was the color. So it was half off, so it was $2.50. So I will send back the $18 pot rack I got because I no longer need it. I don't know why I just didn't try to thrift something first. I mean, I don't know, Amazon hooked me in. But anyway, so I got this and then um, at the end of the video, we're gonna wallpaper that and we're gonna hook this up with the help of my husband and then we are going to decorate it. So I'm so excited to share that. So that'll be at the end of the video. Next things I found, and these were a dollar each, were these really pretty salt and pepper shakers. And I just thought they were just so pretty. They're white, um, very functional. I don't think there's anything in them. Um, but I'm going to use them more so for decor, probably on my little centerpiece over there. But I thought this would be really cute for now and also for the fall. And I just thought they were just so pretty. Uh-oh. <gasps> now I know why they were there. It has a chip in the front. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't see it. What do you guys think? Would it be awkward to use? Should I use it maybe in a cabinet instead? I do have a glass cabinet in the kitchen. Maybe I'll just stick them in there because then you won't be able to see the chip so prominently. Oh, I'm so disappointed. And that was my cat. <laughs> that was Serena. If there's ever trouble, just look and Serena will be there. But I'm so upset. Oh, oh well. What are you going to do? So the next thing I got, and sorry. <laughs> I know some people don't like this, but... So this is a little um, Renaissance Normandy. It's marked with 299 in Japan, and I think it's a little sugar bowl. And I just thought it was so cute with blue, and then it has like a little, little design on it. And somebody did use it for sugar because there's still sugar in it, so I have to, you know, clean that out really good. But I thought this would look so cute in my cabinet. Or I really could use it anywhere. Um, but it was really cute. It was three dollars so I grabbed it another goodwill was this goodwill yes it was was I found a really pretty hanging basket and this was only two dollars and I thought this for the bedroom in the last video I showed you I had the um, rack with the bar so I bought s hooks and I wanted to put kind of baskets down from there um, so I did pick this one up and I think it'll look really pretty. So maybe we'll style that one in today's video as well. I'll take the, I have a quilt hanging up there, but I'll take it down. I'll put the hooks up and let's see if we can gather up a few more baskets and we'll do that. We'll do it together. And that, um, 
I also grabbed, this was $2, but I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> so some pumpkin spice latte potpourri, but I found it in the thrift store, it was $2. And I can already smell it. And like I told you in my last video, fall is my favorite decorating time, my favorite food time, and my favorite smell time. And let me know in the comments below what your favorite season is and why. I just love all the fall smells and just the coziness of it, the leaves changing. We're in New England, so the leaves change, everything turns bright orange and reds, and it's just beautiful. But anyway, so I picked that up, and I will use that in the fall. Um, and I also picked up, and I might use it in here actually, is just another basket. It was $3. And it's just like a really pretty basket. I could use this for a centerpiece. I could just use it on the counter. You know, I could put a tea towel in it. I can serve, you know, bread, crackers, you know, if we have any people over, anything like that. Or I could just, it has a flat center, so, and a hole in the middle, so I could hang it up on the wall. So I don't know. I could use it for all of the things, I guess. Um, but it was really pretty and it was $3. Yeah, $3. So another good thrifting tip, if you need a basket, if you're making a gift basket, if you're looking for baskets, to host a party with, um, for decor, for whatever, to organize your pantry. Always go to Goodwill, Saver, Salvation Army. They are filled with baskets. And if you buy baskets in the store, you know, they're gonna cost you 15, 20, $40. Why do that when you can spend two or three? Just a little tip for you. Buy your baskets at a thrift store. All right, what else? All right, that is from Savers. Oh, I have one more thing. Hang on, I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm way over there, but when I was in Goodwill, oops, I just dropped something, but that's okay, it's fine. Um, when I was in Goodwill, I happened to find these. They were $6 each, threshold pillows, and they are in perfect condition, and there were three of them, so I bought all three for $6 each. But I love the blue, the green, love them. I can't believe $6. I don't know how much they cost in the store. Definitely much more than $6. But yes, I got three of them. Um, I might put these away and take them out for the fall because I think these will look pretty against like, you know, browns and blues and things like that. So I might, might just put that away for now. And I think that was it from Goodwill. Yep, that was it from Goodwill. So now we'll move on to Savers. So from Savers I got, it was $2.99 for this cute little bowl. I have no idea what I'm gonna use it for. Um, I'm sure there's no, I'm sure it's not an antique or anything, but I just thought it was so cute. I don't know if I'll use it like in my coffee area or um, maybe I'll put like little pumpkins in it for the fall and stick it somewhere. I don't know. It's just so cute. I had to have it. And it was $2.99. So I grabbed that. What you heard fall down was in our master bathroom kind of an odd shape. It's a very small bathroom. I don't really show it because we got to figure out what to do with it. But the toilet paper doesn't fit on the toilet paper holder in the wall and it's all tiled. So I was at a loss with what to do. Hang on. I had to hydrate there. So I was at a loss for what to do because we're not going to take down all the tile because that's just going to be, that's a whole demo. <laughs> so I found this in, oh, this was Savers, yep, for $6.99, and it's just like a cute little toilet paper holder. So you can put the extra toilet paper in there, and then, you know, the roll we're current using right now, because right now it sits on the sink. So I had to have a grown-up house and get something to properly store our toilet paper. So I did get pick up that, and I have seen them before, and I was going to buy one before, and then for whatever the reason, it just slips my mind, and I don't know. My mind's in a hundred different directions. <laughs> so there was that. Then I picked up this tablecloth also and I loved it. It has like the taupe, the brown, the gray, kind of the colors I'm going to be using for the fall. So I'm going to wash it and iron it really well. And I think I'm going to use this in our living room um, across the coffee table, or I might use it here in the kitchen. I'm not really sure yet. Um, I don't think I told you the price. Gotta find where the tag is. Here it is. 
I think it was here it is. Yep, $3.99. So it's $3.99 at Savers. But I thought this was so pretty too with that. I just kind of have like a very light plaid theme for the for the fall. So I was excited to kind of grab that. I'll do something with it. I don't know if it'll go on the table or not because I have another idea for the table, but this could definitely go draped across a coffee table or something like that with ease. So I was glad to grab it. Um, then I grabbed this little cake stand. It was $3.49 and I liked the wood of it. Probably put a candle on it with like a ring around it or something. I do not like the design at all. So I'll either paint it or I have other um, peel and stick wallpaper or if I put, you know, a candle on it with maybe a wreath around it or something like a fall display, I think it would cover that. Um, and it was $3.49, but I like that it was just all wood, kind of just appealed to me. And I could just see like a, a pretty candle on it with like a ring around it or something or like a wreath. So I grabbed that and then, oh, there we go. This is what I was looking for. So I saw this, I do not think it's an antique. It was $3.49. This is really pretty jar and it says vitamins on it. And I thought it was just like so cute. So I figured I would put it in my little curiosity cabinet. And I don't know, just something like it was like just so cute. It was just like a little glass, but I think that's that I like the shape of it. I think it's really pretty. So I did grab it and it says vitamins on both sides or all three sides. That's so cute. Let's grab that. <coughs> and then I grabbed this cute little, it's like a tennis skirt, I guess you could say. Um, it's by Team guilty. So it's just like a cute little skirt and it has shorts underneath. Very athletic kind of thing but I thought this would be great with like white sneakers and a white tank or a white tee and it was $7.79 at Savers. So I did grab that and I got and I figured these are going to be great for vacation next year and it still has the tag on them and they are from um, international concepts but there are these really cute shorts and I love like the buttons in the front and they're just like pull-on shorts and they were originally $60 never been worn and I got them from $8.49 but I thought um, our next cruise is in May so I thought, thought these with like some strappy sandals and like a really cute halter top or something like that or I don't know maybe something with like a high neck and no sleeves I don't know I'm gonna play around with it a little or I could even do like a roll-up boyfriend shirt possibilities are endless but I did grab them and they gave me the hangers again <laughs> and then the last thing I grabbed these just come in handy so often and it was $3.49 for a pack of I think it's four one two yep four for washcloths. Never been used. Tags still on them. There was four of them. Preferred Comfort is the brand. <clears throat> and um, so I grabbed them. I mean, it's always nice to have some extra washcloths. You know, you never know. They come in handy. So that was everything that I got today. So I think what we're going to do next is the shelf and the wallpaper. So I'm gonna show you um, how I put it on. Fingers crossed it comes out okay. <laughs> and um, they're gonna have my husband put the shelf on it and we'll put a couple things on. I don't have um, enough to fill it yet because I'm not sure. I just wanna see, um, you know, like the rack on it and the wallpaper on it and then we'll go from there. So let's get it done. All right guys, so this is the wall. Um, or the little side of our cabinets from the kitchen where I am going to put uh, the brick, faux brick wallpaper. And then we're going to hang up a pot rack. So I have my little 
razor to cut along the edges because there are edges and then a peel and stick wallpaper so let's get started so i got one strip down and now it's going to be the tricky part over there so let's just let's just get going the one thing about like the faux brick if there is like a little imperfection somewhere you won't really notice it so that's really why I like this too. Okay, well, it was a little bit tricky <laughs> in spots, but I got it all on. And that's the beauty of also using a faux brick is as long as you line it up, if there's a few imperfections, it doesn't matter because brick is supposed to have imperfections. So that's how it came out. And now as soon as my husband puts up the pot rack, we'll decorate it. And I'm really loving it so far and very easy, very inexpensive project to do to just add a little bit of something to your kitchen. Okay guys, so we did get the shelf up. He did have to drill through it because of the wood and the steel, um, but I really love it. I think it's a great, great way to do it. He says he's sorry, he didn't want to be on camera. You know, he has to be replaced a couple weeks ago, so he's still kind of hobbling around and doesn't feel very photogenic at the moment but that's what we have and now I'm gonna go through the house I'm gonna see what I have that I can use to style it and let's get this style. Okay guys so I went around the house and I found a couple things I think might work so the first thing I'm gonna hang up is this cutting board that I had and if I just put it on the little hook it sticks out but I had this little piece of twine so I just use that and then I found another cutting board. So I figured I'd put it on the end. And I gotta say, I'm so glad I did this wall. So glad. And then I also had this piece of pottery. So I figured I would use that until I got some more cutting boards with holes. Because all my other cutting boards don't have holes. So I can't, or maybe like some big spoons, like wooden spoons. And then I found this little creamer. And for right now, that's gonna be the look until I figure something else out. But I just wanted to give you a visual of what everything looks like. And it just looks so much better than, like I sit in this chair and when I see that, and it was just plain, it just bothered me for some reason. But now I really like it. So let's go see where some of the other pieces were, um, where I've placed them. Some of them I've put downstairs because they'll be used for the fall. So let's go take a look. Over here in my cabinet, I put my little container for vitamins, my little glass container in my little curiosity cabinet, if you will. And I think it looks really cute in there. I should probably try to find like, um, some like gumballs or something like that to kind of put in there. Like, what would you guys put in there? Because I think it needs something in there. But I think it all looks well together. And there's an overview. Okay, so over here in my glass cabinet, I ended up putting the salt and pepper shakers up there. Because now, you know, I see them and I know that they're there and I think they look pretty in the cabinet, but you can't tell that one is chipped because I still wanted to use them. But I think for the fall, I'm going to be reorganizing this whole, this whole um, cabinet. But for now, they look really cute right there. And over here in the coffee bar, I just stuck a little LED light in there. And that little ceramic bowl with a little handle. And I'll just leave it there to light up my little corner. And then we'll figure out what to do with it more so in the fall. For now, I think it looks cute right there. And over here in my blue hutch, I moved my little creamer to put on the rack. And then I just put this other little piece that I got today right there. And I think it looks beautiful. Mixed in with all the other iron stone and pottery. So pretty. You know what, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that's a little bit bigger. Maybe we should put that over on the pot rack. 
Let's go try it. This creamer is so small that maybe we should use the bigger one just to kind of balance it out. Oh, I think that's much better. What do you guys think? I think for right now, I'll just keep those two bigger ones there with the cutting boards and I'll put this little guy back in the hutch. Okay guys, well, that is it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And my next video will be on Saturday and I will show you some of the bedroom as I start to put things together. And I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and share your comments and your thoughts. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.